Throughout this video, I'll show you how to add a WhatsApp chat app to your website with multiple operators for free. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so for example, I'll show you how to add a WhatsApp chat similar to this one here. When we click on it, we can choose a department in which you want to contact. For example, we can contact sales or even support. And since we're running a WooCommerce store as a bonus tip, we've also got an option to display this WhatsApp option just under the add to cart button. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is head over to plugins, add new, and then we'll go ahead and search for WP chat app. And it's this one here. We'll click activate. Now we'll go ahead and configure it. So we'll head over to WhatsApp, then all account. And we'll just go ahead and click add new account. So the idea is you can have different departments. For example, you might have billing, you might have support and sales, for example. So this could be our sales. All right, so we can add our number here. Okay, and then again, we'll say sales, All right? This is the account. This is for internal purposes. And this is what the customer will see on the front end. All right, and we can have some default text. Okay, then we can customize the button here. Since this is sales specific, we can say uh, contact sales team, right? And since green's the default WhatsApp color, we're just gonna leave it as it is to keep it on brand. We can change the button shape. So whether rounded or square and the text color. So we'll just leave this as it is. We'll hit publish and we'll create another account. So we'll create a new one. Now we'll just say support. Okay, and we'll just leave this as default. We'll say support here as well. And then we'll say something like, and we'll hit publish. Okay, now let's head over to floating widget. Okay, then we can select the widget in which we wanna customize. So for example, we can customize the sales widget. Okay, and then we can select the account in which we want to display. So in this case, we want to display both the sales account and also the support account. All right, then we can choose the order. So we can choose to display support first or sales first. Let's navigate over to design. We're going to leave everything as default, but you can go ahead and customize it to suit your requirement. All right, this is how it will look, right? So they'll see this option to contact support or even sales. We can choose whether we want to hide or display it on a desktop or mobile and just hit save changes. Let's navigate over to settings. Okay, and since I'm running a WooCommerce store, if I enable this option, we can actually display this WhatsApp button below the add to cart button, right? And then we can choose the account to display here. So for example, sales, this makes sense. So we'll hit save. Okay, so now let's head over to our store page. Here's our floating chat widget and a customer can go ahead and choose which department the one to contact. And then let's view one of our products and we should also see a WhatsApp button here as well. And if we click on this, it'll take us directly over to the web version of WhatsApp, right? Since we're on a desktop, whereas if the customer's on their mobile device, it will just automatically open up WhatsApp. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in the comment box.